your thoughts really yours? Are your thoughts really yours? Hi, I'm Elke and I'm here to talk about sustainable lifestyle. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> yes, I'm enjoying it a lot. And I'll give you a coin for your thoughts now. Would you tell me what you're thinking? Are these thinking, these thoughts really yours? I don't think so. Why? Why do I don't think so? Because we are, we humans, we are cultural beings. Everything that we do, we think our beliefs is based on our culture. And how do we build this culture? It's where you were brought up or the country, the city, the neighborhood, the school you went, the university that you went, the everything that you did in your life, what you know, the traveling, the people that you met, this builds up your culture. Everything that you know, everything that you think is right or you think is wrong, what you should do and what you shouldn't do. And then comes one more detail that's not so tiny propaganda advertisement you know when something that you didn't even know that existed and this comes this product on tv on the internet and then suddenly you only gonna be happy if you have this product that didn't even exist before how can that be that's good propaganda that's what happens all our lives everything i for kids start for kids that you have to have this candy this ice cream this toy and then for us that you have to go to this school or have this clothes or this shoe or this latest cell phone everything drives us crazy because we have to have because if we don't have it we won't be happy and now we do have to be happy. It's not that we want to be happy. We have to. Because you're only going to be accepted in society if you're really this really happy person. Isn't that crazy? And how can we stop, think, back up a little? And wow, what are really my thoughts? What am I understanding of this world? What world do I want to live in? What I want for my life, what do I want for my family? Besides what everybody is saying, besides what the propaganda is doing, besides what the, my peers are doing, besides of to be capable to integrate a society that I, I like or I believe, what do I have to do to be there, you know? And how can I manage all that? That's so hard. Breathe. Breathe, that's a good solution first because we do everything in a rush breathe and calm down and start to getting inside of you what are your true beliefs what you really want what do you think really will make you okay with you because i'm not saying that you have to be happy i just saying that you have to be okay with yourself sometimes not in being happy sometimes you want to be the really clever you're gonna be one of the smartest person on earth okay and you don't have to be happy but that's what you have to figure out what's good for you not for everyone else and you know when you're really your true self everybody is gonna look up to you because you're not a follower anymore you're gonna be a leader even if you don't want to be <laughs> that's funny also but we're here to talk about sustainable lifestyle, wasn't that? Yes, because I'm healthy and I'm here to talk about sustainable lifestyle. <laughs> what those two have in common? Sustainability is based on consuming less. We have to use less products because the resources from the planet are finite. So how we shift from this consumerism crazy that we live in to consuming a lot less if we are taught or made believe that that's the way to live that's the way to be happy how can we shift that 
is knowing what really is important for us, you know, and what makes sense for us. What trades are we willing to do to obtain what we want? And that makes, needs us to change our habits. And changing habits are something really tough because we are also creatures of habits. And it's kind of painful to change habits. But if we do it in a more conscious way, it gets a little bit easier. And that's what I'm asking for you. What are your beliefs? What life do you want for you? Do you need everything that the advertisement are telling you to buy or telling you to be? Think clearly. You know, breathe and start to see what really matters for you and belonging for you and the place that you want to belong is really important, go for it. I'm not telling you do not go for it, go for it. But have to be important for you, have to make sense for you, you know? And that's also about sustainability because inclusion is sustainability. It's, if we have society that's all divided, only have space for one kind of people, it's not sustainability. A great society, a sustainable society has place for everyone. So to be inclusive, everyone have their own space. And today we're kind of different talk. What I'm gonna say was about that or about our behavior, but I thought it was something really important for going to the next chapter that we are going. Like we have to be really feel good in our own skin. You know, we have to be proud of who we are or who we became, you know. That's fundamental for achieving the next step, what we really want to do, okay? Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening to this. And if you want to spread this information, I think this is really helpful for a lot of people because you have to be accepted the way you are. Believe that you have to be accepted the way you are, okay? And you're gonna be whatever you want. And let's do this journey together. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing this information. See you next video. I hope I do. Beijo.